Rowan County deputies say their latest undercover operation saved a 16-year-old Charlotte girl from human trafficking. Thanks for joining us on Queen City News at 10. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. Investigators say the girl led them to the predator who lured her into being in the sex trade. Savannah Rudisell reports. This case is a perfect example of how human trafficking is not a crime that knows any kind of jurisdictional boundaries. On March 13th, Rowan County detectives were working a two-day operation at a hotel in Salisbury. Undercover officers spoke with people offering sexual services, not to arrest them, but to find out if anyone was a victim of human trafficking. We keep hearing this in county commissioner meetings and we keep hearing this in the media, but yeah, it's something that we never get calls on. So we're thinking we, it was actually a fact-finding operation. They found a 16-year-old girl coerced into sex work. Authorities arrested and charged Kadeem Williams with promoting the prostitution of a minor and assault for allegedly strangling the victim. Deputies say he groomed the girl, paying for a rideshare service to take her from Charlotte to the Salisbury Hotel. Members of the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Human Trafficking Unit are investigating whether Williams worked with anyone else or if he's connected to any other victims. You don't want them feeling victimized again. You don't want them feeling like they're in trouble. You don't want them feeling like they're the problem because they're not. You know, they're somebody that needs help. That's where advocates like Erin Moody come in. She's a prevention educator and certified forensic interviewer in cases well, like these. We've had a record breaking couple of years recently with new cases coming in. Investigators say Williams groomed the suspect by offering her independence, a new phone, a place to live. Moody says this kind of manipulation is very common, especially for teen victims. They can be door dashing food to kids at their school basketball games. They can be making in-app purchases, buying music downloads for kids, things that their parents or caregivers never see. Advocates and authorities say they need the cooperation from the entire community to save more victims. I'm not released the name of our local hotel, but they were eager to help us. We're not all meant to investigate child abuse, that it's just our job to um, notify the proper authorities and it's their job to investigate. If you are a victim, you know, don't suffer in silence. You know, there are agencies everywhere that do care and we want to do something about it. You just, we just got to, we need help finding you. In Salisbury, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.